Webcam. We said the last So, what I'd like to do now is show you guys how to do solve a logarithmic equation. So, in our previous one, we were doing exponential equations. Now we're going to do a logarithmic. And again, it's the exact same type of properties. You have to know your properties. If you don't know your properties, you're going to struggle with this. All right? So, we're going to solve. There's two different ways we can work on this. First way, if this is a very basic one. So what I can do with this is you can always transfer to exponential, right? And that was the first thing we learned what to do with logarithm, logarithms and exponential. Transfer this to exponential form. We know since the natural logarithm, there's a base e. So I can rewrite this as e to the first equals square root of x plus 2, right? All right? The okay. other way we can look at this is... <clears throat> You guys remember I talked about this. Um, 4 squared equals 4 to the x. You should probably almost be like bored with this. So then you know that 2 is equal to x, right? Could I raise 99 squared equals 99 to the x? Is 2 still going to equal x? And, yes. Right? All of it. it does so it doesn't matter what pop what base I raise this or what base I use, correct? Correct. Alright, very good. So, now the next thing that we're going to do is the other property you guys have to know is your inverse properties. Log base A of A equals 1. Javier, could you move back to C, please? Yes. All right. You guys should know that. Then you have log base A of A raised to the x equals x. And then the other one is if I have A and I raise it to the power of log base a evaluating x is going to equal x. These are your two inverse properties. You guys have to know those properties, right? So if you should know this, because I can bring the x in front, log base a of a is equal to 1, x times 1 is x, but it works the exact same way. If I have a raised to the logarithm base a of x, it's just going to equal x. So the other method I could look at this and say, well, I need to get rid of this ln. And you know, I don't want to evaluate my answer with an ln. So what I can do is I can raise them, my point here, I can raise both sides. I can exponentiate both sides with a base e. So I can raise them both as exponents with my e as my base. Now, why would I ever want to do that? Well, the reason I want to do that is I'm manipulating my equation so I can use this property. Because e raised to the ln, which is base e, is going to equal a1. It's going to cancel out. So I'm left with square root of x plus 2 equals e to the first. It's the exact same as you get the first one. Yes? You need to know how to do the properties and how to manipulate them. So that's why I'm showing you both ways. Okay. Um, then from here, we just need to solve. So how do you get rid of the square root? Square both sides. Right? Then subtract 2. Uh, that's it. Yep. 